frustration in Fairmount where multiple cars were hit by vandals. Residents say it just keeps on happening. They're fed up. Seanette Wilson has the details. Neighbors are feeling trapped in a cycle of car break-ins that they call pointless damage because they say the thieves don't appear to be taking much of anything. It's a nuisance. Mark Deacher was out this evening sealing the window of his son's car as best he could with tape and a trash bag. People just smashing glass down rows of cars. His son isn't the only victim. Vandals hit other cars parked on 22nd Street between Aspen and Fairmount, not far from the penitentiary, overnight. Down here, there's a couple thousand dollars worth of damage, you know, every block. Police say around 7.30 this morning, six cars were reported vandalized on the 700 block of North 22nd Street. They say one of the owners reported their registration missing from the car. Well, I've been seeing on the next door application that this has been happening for a month or maybe more. Denise Chiavelli told me her car was broken into overnight too, but at 26th and Aspen. She says loose change was taken. It's in the shop being repaired. It's so discouraging. You feel that, you know, wait, there's nothing you could do. Meanwhile, residents on neighborhood chats reported cars broken into in other areas, like at 19th and Wallace near Roberto Clemente Park and Playground. And here on Wiley Street, along Francisville Playground, where several damaged cars remained this evening. Financio Ortiz says one car belonged to his neighbor. It was like they broke into the car, but didn't steal anything. He says it happened to his car parked in front of his house prior to last night. On my driveway. It uh, happened, like, uh, say, a week ago. Residents say it's a quality of life issue they feel they're being forced to live with. It's a small thing. It's, you know, but it's, you know, it's a $400 tax every time something has happened. Police say Central Detectives is investigating, and they're hoping for home security footage that could help. In Fairmount, Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News.